Thanks for checking out this video. Don't forget, like and subscribe. We had Punk coming out to do a promo. He's all happy. He's on top of the world. He challenges Gunther, says he's coming for his title. Goes and celebrates on the announce table as they're playing his music. And then Drew shows up, sweeps his legs out, beats his ass on the table. Wade Bear tries to pull him off, but Drew breaks past him, hits Punk with a claymore. Throws him in the ring. It's another claymore. Tears off the brace. And a bunch of guys come down, and Drew says, and I quote, Touch me and I'll kill you. So nobody touched him. So he takes the bracelet off Punk's wrist. He snaps it in half. He shoves the beads in Punk's mouth. Hits another Claymore. The beads go flying. More officials and Adam Pearce come down and yank him off. And Punk ends up, he's grabbing his neck like he's choking on beads. And after the break, he's being stretchered out in the neck brace. Drew jumps him again. Starts beating on him, gouging his eyes. Punk is spitting up blood. He better be out for a while after this. Yeah, it could be. I mean, I felt like I mean, felt like an injury angle. Drew McIntyre was was great. His intensity is 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 awesome. So he he did a great job there. And um, yeah, yeah. Um, but we, I mean, let's see. The pay per view is October fifth, so he could be out. He he could he could easily be out for like three weeks and still make the pay per view. So we had Ilya Dragunov, Dominic, and Dragon Lee in a three way, and. Dragon goes up top. Carlito runs down, shoves him off. So Priest makes the save, and Dom tries to super kick, uh, drop kick Priest. Priest won't sell it. Dom goes running. Priest chases him out of the building. So now it's one on one. This is where we got a botched spot that led to a this is awesome chant, and then Dragon hits the tree of woe foot stomp. Tries to Destino, gets rolled up, and then Tessator made his first mistake of the evening, and that is Dragonov hit the torpedo. And he didn't know that one. Tessa Tor called it a shoulder block. Yeah, he did not know that move. He, he knew most of them, though. Yeah, most of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, so anyway, it's Jey Uso, Pete Dunn, Ilya, and then we'll find out the fourth person as we continue on in this report. No no spoilers. Okay. Adam Pierce talked about Bronson Reed, out of action with COVID. Said we need a third person for the other triple threat later. Braun Strowman showed up, and he said he had been cleared. And so Pierce said, "All right, you're in." Some some crack medical staff they got there. The guys I'll say. like the guys like can barely breathe, acting he's like he's dying. He's screaming in pain. Pierce is like questioning it, and he goes, "I'm cleared. I'm okay." And then Pierce is like, "Okay, I bet I better need to talk to these doctors though." So, uh, but yeah, he was in the he was in the match. So uh, Ilba Fire and Isla Don versus Damage Control number one contenders match. With uh, Bianca and Jade out there watching. And big spot is near the end. Kyrie goes up top to do, I think, an elbow off the post. Oh, she cracked her face on the, on the medical table, on the um, announcer table. Hyla yanked Bianca out of the way, and Kyrie, Kyrie looked like she broke her damn leg and hit her face, and she's bleeding all over from the face. Yeah. And Jade beats up Kyrie, and then Isla ends up snapping Eo's neck on the ropes behind the ref's back. They hit their double team, they get the pin. So it is an Alba Isla rematch next week for the tag yeah, team on, titles. Yeah, on, on Raw. Yeah. Yeah. From Calgary. Yeah. Thinking we might see a title change in a breakup, but maybe it's too early. You think so? It's coming. At some point, it's coming. I'm, I suppose. Feels a little early. Yeah, maybe. We had Kofi arguing with Adam Pierce backstage. Well, he's trying to get a tag team title match. And then Gunther showed up and just laughed at him. Yeah, so he said that the. Uh, the champions, which is uh, J.D. and Balor, have not defended their title, which, in fact, uh, they haven't. No. You know, they had set up that thing with um, Sami Zayn and Jey Uso. You know, they'd already won the one non-title match and everything, and they just dropped that. Yeah. Yeah. They need to follow up. Very rare for them to drop something nowadays. Gunther cut a promo. Talked about how Randy Orton was at his best. He beat the best Randy Orton there was. And then Sami Zayn's music hits, and he comes out and he says, you know, the great Intercontinental Champions of all time, Macho Man, Austin Rock, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, all won the IC title, used it as a stepping stone to the world title, and that's what you did, Gunther, and that's what I'm going to do. I want your world title. Gunther said, yes, those men did do that, but uh, you are not a legend like those guys. If you want a shot at my title, No. 
and he goes to leave, and Sammy grabs the mic and he says, I've watched your entire career. You've never backed down from a fight. Why are you backing down from this one? Is it because in your entire time in WWE, only one man has ever beaten you in the middle of the ring? And Gunther's gotten to, but then he turns and smiles, and Sammy says, I'm coming after you. I will say this. If they were building to this, which they were not at all, um, they sure didn't do a good job. I mean, Sammy got squashed by, you know, Braun Breaker, uh, beaten twice, and then the first thing he does is get a world title match. That's like... That's tremendous falling up. Well, I mean, he's got to earn it, I'm sure, in some way, I would think. But maybe I, think they're going, I, think, I think they're going. I think they're. I think they're getting that title match pretty soon. Jay used to doing a promo. Braun Breaker showed up. Braun vows to destroy him if he gets to the finals of this Intercontinental Title Tournament. They very much made it to where uh, you would expect Jay to win the tournament. I mean, they they want you to. I mean, whether they do it or not, we'll see next week. But. They certainly, if you watched the show, got the impression that, that Jay's winning that four-way next week. So for the fourth spot, it's Seamus Ludwig Kaiser, and replacing Bronson Reed is Braun Strowman, who can barely move, and the but replacement wins. They did. They, he did run through the uh, barricade. He ran through the they, barricade and sold for a while, and then Seamus and Kaiser worked, and then Seamus ends up hitting the bro kick, but Pete Dunne yanks him out of the ring, hits him with a shillelagh, Braun runs over Kaiser, running power slam, gets the pin. So he's in the four-way next week for a shot at the Intercontinental title. Mm -hmm. Priest meets with Jey Uso. Jey agrees to be his partner. Says, I'm not saying no to Rhea. And then Pete Dunne does his promo in the back, and he goes, I'm off to NXT to smash Trick Williams. And then Jackie actually calls him, says, calls him Butch. Should I tell him that message is from Butch? And Pete is aghast. Don't ever say that name again. I'm trying to get the fans to chant Butch. Oh, yeah. Pete Dunn. Oh, yeah. So the main event was Damian Priest and Jey Uso versus Finn Balor and JD. And they had a good main event. Um, yeah, it was a good match. Yeah, yeah, fans were super to Priest come back and then ends up going for the South of Heaven, gets cradled, and Jay gets a blind tag, and he makes a big comeback, and... Finally, Rhea's music hits. Liv is horrified, but Rhea's limping to ringside with a crutch. So Liv is making well, fun Rhea, of her. Rhea, and... Rhea, 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 you know, interfered in the match first. Liv did. I mean, Liv, Liv, Liv interfered in the match, and then Rhea came out for the save, basically, yeah. So Liv is fake limping and mocking her, but then Rhea smiles and starts swinging the crutch. Liv runs for her life, and Rhea was still limping, but she chased her into the crowd. She, she Yeah, yeah, she didn't. I thought that that spot was going to be that she was okay and yeah. it was all a ruse, but they sold it with the idea that she is legitimately hurt. But she's running and, and limping after her, yeah. So in the ring, Jay speared Finn. Priest killed JD with the edge, and then Jay hit the big splash, got the pin. Everybody cheers and celebrates. And uh, they did make a big deal about how Rhea was out there singing Jay's song and dancing to his music, so... Oh, Whatever they've been doing with Rhea and Jay, it's it's continuing on. Oh yeah, they're putting Rhea and Jay together. I mean, they're definitely doing that. I mean, it's I I original. I think that like uh, they may do like a War Games thing where it's. Uh, I mean, I, I had felt they were going to do it was it was going to be Priest, and it could it could even be a mixed a mixed match throwing Rhea and um, and live in there. But but Priest Jay, and I thought Sammy would be in there. You know, on uh, you know as far as that War Games team. Yeah, on the you know perhaps, but you know, um, you know, going against uh, you know the the Judgment Day. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.